But well, how real it is. Look at this. When you go to the churches. This is what he's talking about. You go to the church houses. They worship they got homosexuality. Come on. Jesus. They got this rain and that rain. All this stuff. Pagan God. Idol worship. God of fertility. The storm God. They got all kinds of gods that got erected in the temple. Jesus. So when you get there, yeah, he might have something else for us. And it may already be, uh, uh, somebody else might already be living in it. Now how in the world can we go in and, and take it by force if we're not? Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Mm. We're not in power. Mm -hmm. You're an army. You're here because God chose you up out of something because he knew that if he had the opportunity to fill you with his Holy Spirit and then pop into your life that you would be a mighty warrior. They would be well able. And when we go to that land, we would kill off some Canaanites. We would destroy some idols. We would tear down some gods that had been exalted. We would deal with every demonic spirit that's not like God that's erected itself in a place that he's sending us into. See, people get it twisted. Oh, yeah, God, we're going to a place flowing with milk and honey. You think you going in there with no uh, God, no Holy Ghost, no word, no strength, no power, no anointing? You think you going in there and just take it? You're going to go in there and those Canaanites going to start doing their witchcraft. And they're going to start doing their voodoo. And they're going to start calling on their God. And if you don't know anything, you're going to leave that land. Jesus. Kadesh Barnea. Everybody say Kadesh. Kadesh. Barnea. Barnea. It's the place of wilderness. It's where you are right now. You're in the middle. You're past Sinai. Because your sins have been made manifest to you. They have been revealed to you. They are open. Now you, you can't hide behind it anymore. Now you know what it is. It is what it is. So now you have moved into the wilderness place. And in this place, God said, I want to consecrate you. That means I'm going to strip you naked. I want to take away everything that's not like me. I want to do something in you so that I have the room to fill you up. He can't even fill some of you. You got so much junk in you. Jesus. Hear what I'm saying? It ain't going to be, oh, 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 no, no, no easy thing to go in and take over a land. If somebody called us to a, a place today and said, go in that building over there. I'm giving y'all that building. I'm giving y'all new songs. I'm giving y'all Mount Pleasant. Do you think they're going to just give it to us? Jesus. We have to be strengthened. We have to be fortified. And everything that's in there that's not like God, we got to have the power over that thing to call that thing They didn't work so hard to, to get it for, it, for themselves. And they didn't labor and stole and robbed and killed even the people that had gone in, in, in debt and losing their houses and everything, helping them to build up some big old place for them to come to worship and praise God. The pastor looking good, got it going on, ain't working, just getting more and more. And, and the people going down, 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 living in houses with no food and no rent, no heat, no hot water. Come on, somebody. No furniture. Come on, hear what I'm saying. But if we can't get concentrated in this place, if we can't get delivered in this place, if we can't get filled in this place, if we can't get equipped in this place, we can't go and take over no other place because the giants in that land are bigger. Oh my God. Mm. All right, Bob. Absolutely. Even when Joshua took the people. I was wondering why I was reading all this this morning. Joshua took the people and, 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 and he got them ready here. Yeah. And before they got ready to go over into Canaan, he told, he told, he told, he, told a couple, he pulled a couple of people, the strongest soldiers. And I pulled him on. I said, come here, girl, stand right here. Come here, stand right here. I pulled her right there. And I pulled this one here. Come here, come here. And I said, get right here. And this is what I want you to do. I'm going to give you some instructions. I'm going to give you some instructions because I need you. I have need of you. I have need of you. I need I need you to go over into Canaan. I need you to go over into Canaan. And when you get there, I need you to spy out the land. I want you to come back and bring me the report. Tell me what's going on over there. Tell me what you see over there in the land. So, so that we won't go in and not have any knowledge of what we're going into. Mm. But if I send you to, that's because you are the strongest. 
strongest. You're not going to go in like the people did huh? when they came out of Sinai and was back there camping out at the mountain with Moses. And, and when Moses went up to get the word from God for the people, he came back and the people had begun to sin again. Jesus. They had built a golden calf and, and, and they had started worshiping and they were having all kinds of sexual uh, interludes and they were going off the rock and it's just that quick. So you can't send a weak person in to despise the land to find out if it's able, if we can go in, can we take it? What is in there? Is it everything we need in that land? You gotta have a vision. You gotta know the will of God. You gotta have something going on on the inside of you that will reveal to you what you're seeing and what it is that we need. That's why this place here, boy, I came to love this place. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I got so excited and, and I love this place. I love it, I love it, but guess what? It's time now to move from this place to the place that's flowing with milk and honey. It's time to move forward. It's time to come out of the wilderness. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Hello. Amen. Amen. It's time to come out. Amen. But in order to come out, we gotta have a fortified army. We gotta have some strong soldiers that are that are prepared and equipped and ready and, and ready to go into battle, and knowing that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to the pulling down of sorrow, meaning that we know how to pray, we know how to pull it down Jesus. by the spirit. Amen. Come on, say amen. 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 Come on, somebody. And you walk in there with what you got going on. You go in there, you're going to get more. You know why? Because in that land, that's what's in that land. That's what's holding our land down. Those things that we have dealt with that God is trying to strip us from right now before we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. You can't go in there with all this stuff going on. You got to go in there with a clearness. You got to go in there knowing that, that what you see is what it is. And this is what God is trying to tell me and show me. Here in Numbers chapter 10. I'm going to get back to that in a minute. Everybody say Kadesh. 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 Barnea. Barnea. I love that place. I love this place. I love it. Amen. Say, I love it. I love it. I love it. Why? Because this is the stripping place. They always talk about the threshing mm. room. This is the place where, where, where you're being stripped from all of the stuff so that you can go over into the place. Jesus. Okay. That was the journey that the Israelites took. They came out of Egypt, mm. out of bondage, out of captivity, out of slavery, and went to 